We were just with Xavier Walton in Myers Park with, with trees down there, but you know, this is a familiar scene that we're seeing all over the area, both in North and South Carolina. Our Rachel Lundberg is in Rock Hill right now, and uh, she's, she's at the scene of another one. Rachel, where are you at? Bill, I'm off Ebenezer Avenue extension in Rock Hill, just a couple miles away from where other trees are reported to be down as well. But this one is a branch of this massive tree. You can see this thing is completely rotted, so it came down last night. It's been laying over this home. A mom and her four kids were renting this, and she said that her 11 year old was right back in her bedroom sleeping behind this tree whenever it fell down and uh, the mom and one of her sons were sitting in the living room. So terrifying. She was sitting in her car here for about three plus hours earlier and about 45 minutes ago she decided to leave. She was emotional. She said it was just starting to sink in. It's been less than 24 hours since this thing completely landed on top of her home. A ton of damage done to this house and this is just one of the branches of this massive tree. If Joseph kind of pans around, you can see how big this tree is. Branches over top of power lines. Hopefully nothing else comes down over the next few days that we're going to be tracking this weather. A couple cable lines down from this branch. Um, but obviously I'm sure neighbors are concerned as we deal with this weather. If any of these other trees are going to come down, this one completely rotted. But Bill, we were talking earlier, no clear signs of this tree being a concern before we get into weather like like we're expecting and like we've been seeing. Yeah, Rachel. Uh